Okay, here we go. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Going live. In three, two. <laughs> Cooking with Debbie and friends. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Hi, friends. We'll make some good food, talk about marriage and parenting too. Self care and budgeting, that's a recipe for life, yeah. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Clap along. <laughs> he start. he likes to start. I don't know. Right on the dot. At seven. Hello, our, our family. Friends are, our friends are waiting. See? See? My yeah. dad lives for this show. <laughs> um, Hi, Dad. For those of you that are here, uh, welcome to our kitchen. Um, cooking with Debbie is a chat cooking show that we do right here in our own kitchen. One of my neighbors actually said, I love your cooking lessons. I'm like, oh, I love that <laughs> <Yeah>. too. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, uh, first of all, uh, before we even start with the intro, can we make sure that people are getting a good feed? Yeah, I, I wanna, <laughs> I'm gonna just check the feed over here. We've been having some issues uh, I think because there there have been a lot of fires, a lot of fire trucks up here in our area, a lot of news vans, and I really think that that's where the interference has been coming from. I'm hoping so. I've turned off every ring camera. I've restarted the router. I've got everything dialed in. I'm hoping so. Please let us know. Just let us know Audrey in your Sandra. comments, Audrey and Patrick. Oh, Patrick's visiting. Oh no, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Huh. Um, they're the newlyweds. Right. And with a beautiful garden. Um, hi, Sandra Valls. Oh, it's almost your birthday. I'm so excited. Um, with the three of you that are on here already, can you let us know in the comments if there's any kind of freezing up issue or anything with the show? We would love to. Suzanne, I thought she was in. I thought you were in Vegas. In Vegas. Yeah. You're not in Vegas? Um, anyway, uh, let us know if there are any issues because we can take care of that right at the top of the show. So let us know. And with that, I will start all over. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cooking and Debbie with Friends. Um, this is episode... 38. 38. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we've got to start writing it on our yeah. chat Well, it's on the feed, so yeah. they can see So it. episode 38. Cooking with Debbie is a talk show we do right here in our kitchen. And um, it's about cooking and budgeting and just like the song says. And we do it right here with you, my producer. And sous chef. And lovely, musician. Lovely husband. Oh, and husband. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's right. So every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. we get together right here and we make some really fantastic meals. Debbie uh, puts all most of this together beforehand, and a lot of it we do right here with you. So um, we're happy to have you in our kitchen with us. We're seeing a lot of people already saying good, hello. Good. Um, please continue to to um, get in the comments. I know because I talk to a lot of my friends. I know some of you are not commenting or just say hi. Just say just hi. Just say hello because you tell yeah. me afterwards something on the show. Mike Bilberry's there. Hey, Mike, Mike and Dover. Linda, hi, you guys. And I'm Good. like, come on, you creeper. Just say hi, Gene. Is that the guy? He's one of them. Okay, all. you know what? Um, because this is going to be a little uh, long in the oven here, I am making some Brussels sprouts. I'm going to go ahead and put those in right away. All these are, are Brussels sprouts. Brussels, <clears throat> Brussels sprouts who had their bottoms cut off because if you cook them with the bottoms on, they get soggy. And really, who wants a soggy bottom? Um... Nobody wants a soggy bottom. So what I did is I put the cut them in half, cut their little bottoms off, then cut them in half, rinsed them really, really well, dried them out on a dish towel so they, they got really dry because you want them to be dry so they can be crispy. You don't want a lot of water on them. So I made sure they were dry and then I coated them with a good virgin olive oil and then I put my kosher salt on and I just mm, got in there and mixed them up. Now. We're not gonna do a Travis tries it on the Brussels sprouts, we already know. I've tried them every which way and he just doesn't like it and that's okay. There are certain foods I don't like. Like I, I don't like mayonnaise. I mean, it's rare that I eat something with mayonnaise in it. So I'm sure that everybody yeah, but has you know their what's own. what's weird is you like it with artichokes. I do just like it plain like that. Hey, Bruce Rodriguez. Hey, Bruce. Uh, Trav, use my Instant Pot for the fourth time since you inspired yes. me. What did you make, Mike? <laughs> 
What did you make? Let us know. Yeah. Um, also, Fabian and Scott, they're big Instapot users, and Christian Key says she makes rice in Would it all the time. Would you call them Instapot heads? Instapot heads. No? <laughs> they probably don't really do. So our Brussels sprouts are in there. We're going to remember to turn them around. I like them really crispy and fabulous. Um... I put something out on Facebook today, and I don't know if you got a chance to read it, but it's the origin story, and we've told it here before, but the story was for people who may not know what we do. And um, we, uh, like I said in the story, we both lost our jobs at the beginning of the pandemic, like many, many of you. I was laid off. We didn't know what we were going to do, like many of you. I'm a gig employee, which means I lost all my gigs on the books. Mm-hmm. Travis was laid off for six weeks. So, But we didn't know what was going on. So we were scared like you were. Then I went to the grocery store, and it looked like everybody was like creatures from the Black Lagoon. My neighbor, Susan, came up to me and said hello. I didn't even recognize her. She was like completely gowned up. I mean, it was crazy. So it was, you know, the grocery store that used to be one of my favorite hangs. And I'm one of those 1960s uh, wives that know my butcher's name and the produce guy and the produce lady and the deli person and the different um, cashiers. And all of a sudden, it was this cold, distant, crazy place and people were just grabbing things off shelves. Things that didn't even make sense were disappearing. Well, you know, you guys were all there in it. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so the the story was how we I came home and I told Travis we have to do this show I know how to do this I've been doing this for 20 years making meals putting them in the freezer stretching a budget I just you know I know how to shop I know how to cook I know how to make you laugh and so I we wanted to do that and we just did it and we were looking at old videos where you know we're just like in the middle of the kitchen yeah we, we didn't even bother moving the <laughs> coffee pot yeah. off of the counter This was just something that Debbie wanted to do for friends and family members because she's been managing this house like a well-oiled machine for as long as we've been together. And and when I say that, I mean, I literally don't have to worry about anything (laughs) except taking the trash cans out and putting the water up. Okay. Um, Well, a lot of that was because I did the road. And when I did the road, it had to run smoothly. Yeah. So everything was laid out. Anyway, this was my wheelhouse. I knew what to do. And um, so we started this show, and then before you know it, there's a theme song, and then there's we're doing set decoration, and and um, well, that didn't take long. Because look, I, like, like musicians, I also have a collection of guitars and instruments upstairs. I'm a tech person, so oh, if I have a reason to buy lights like this and <laughs> the, the new soundboard and that, so of course we got really uh, as professional as possible, as quickly as possible, so that we could just showcase the food and the content that you're Yeah, so that was just what it was about, and and I wanted to just reach out and say thank you to those of you that watch, and thank you for those of you that introduce us to other people, and we just really appreciate it. That being said... Yeah, well, um, let's go back up and see who else is in the kitchen, because we've got some new people. we got some people. So Suzanne Uh, said she's in a room in Vegas. I don't know if we said hi to Hortensia. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Hortensia. Mike Bilberry said that he made... We've got it right there. Seafood, seafood boil. boil with mussel, shrimp, sausage, oh. potatoes, etc. Come on, man. You're wow. killing me, dude. Mike. Hey, Mike. Uh, let me know Sounds if you, so you saw our Instapot. I don't know if our Instapot is the same size as yours. Six quart. So what, what size is yours, Mike? Um, let us know. Monica and, and Denise then, are in the kitchen. Hi, Monica and Denise. So good to see you guys. Ryan. Um, hi, um, I hope you'll come back and perform on Carnival. Oh my gosh, you're great and cruising is so much fun. I do miss it. That's right. Oh my gosh, I do miss it. You know? Yeah. It was nice. Yeah, Ryan, I'm not, not so much. I'm not really looking forward to putting my wife back on a cruise ship right away. (laughs) Let's wait for a while for that, maybe. Yeah. I think RJ's in the kitchen, too. What's up, RJ? Hi. And hopefully family. And Sandra Valls, if I haven't said it already. Sandra is always at our table. Yeah, we love you, Sandra. We love you, Sandra. And Connie. Um, Tammy. Hi, guys. I love Brussels sprouts. Me, too, Tammy. I'm the only one in the family that loves them. I can't tell you the names my family calls them, but you know what? I finally said, screw you, family. I'm going to start making Brussels sprouts for me, too. Um, Debbie looks more beautiful in purple. Doesn't she? You know what else she looks beautiful in? Turquoise. 
It, her, uh, her brown skin looks so beautiful in that color. <laughs> and I love my hair. I love my new hair. I just jump-started into the silver gray, and I just love it. Uh, Monica says it was a great outlet. Turned out to be a fantastic show. Monica, it is such a good outlet. Oh, my God. If I didn't have this show, I don't know what I'd be doing. I'd just be walking around like a Roomba, bumping into walls in my Me own too. kitchen. Because it's... <laughs> She needs you guys. She's an entertainer, for God's sake. I need you guys, right? Sandra, you get it. You get it, right? <laughs> Connie, purple is your color. Um, thank you. Uh, Debbie would look at a potato sack. I would not. I mean, no, we've never tried that. <laughs> Here, put this on. But they used to make so, dresses out of that back in the day, right? Yeah. Yeah. And they then the, the flower, on flower underwear came from flower rice sacks and flower sacks. Fl a, a cotton rice sacks and flower That's sacks. That's what I'm thinking. They would sell them in big, big um, sacks. And my mom tells a story about her mother taking those flower sacks and making um, chummies for everybody. Mm, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't think I was thinking potato sacks. That's burlap, right? <laughs> yeah, but she would look um, good in it. Uh, and, and I love potato. Ah, oh, you, you flirting with me. Um, okay, so what are we doing? Okay, so today we're making a dish. I checked with one of our neighbors who we love very much, Kareen. Hi, Kareen. If everybody could clap for Kareen. Kareen is a nurse, and she is in um, the thick of COVID. And I checked with her. You know, she lives across the street, so we've all been dealing with the fires and such. And, and it's just been a rough time for mm -hmm. our little street and our neighborhood. And we've had a situation with um, people that are displaced and trying to find their way. And, and, you know, it's just really been taking over our neighborhood. So anyway, Karina's is a hardworking nurse. I checked on her today. She's... Um, just overworked and overtired and so i'm making dinner for travis and i and then we're going to pack it all up we're going to pack up this dish and this side dish and uh, some dessert and even mm -hmm. lunch for tomorrow if she yeah. would like <laughs> she is the, one of the sweetest people on the face of the planet and she gives fantastic hugs and we miss your hugs kareen so if you're if you're watching this we're going to bring you a fantastic dinner and um and we're gonna air hug but i can't wait until we could hug again <laughs> mama maria says hi. hi mama maria hello we hello. we miss you too and hanging out with you and, and bg and joe at your house martin villanueva's in the in the kitchen hey and there's, martin connie just logged in and my mom said no connie's been here oh i thought she okay. she said i look beautifully purple um and monica said we're all gonna be okay hopefully stronger and better i texted my sister monica five months to the day and said it's been five months since i kissed you <laughs> i just want to get in there and kiss her and hug her so anyways today we're gonna make pasta peas and pancetta um pancetta is this little diced meat that you find in Pancetta's the deli section up, baby. oh yeah it's just you know pancetta if you don't have pancetta it's Use bacon. Okay. This is fancy bacon. Uh, it's all cut up and ready to go. And pancetta and peas together, mwah, they should have been married forever. This, this is a great little side dish. Pancetta and some aromatics and peas. It's the perfect side dish if you're going to a potluck or something. Wonderful. But when you add pasta, bam, it's a whole meal. I'm sorry, how was that? Bam, okay. it's a whole meal. Just wanted to make sure and we because, knew. you know, I do talk about being diabetic type 2, I do need to watch my pasta intake. So, um I will have a big helping of the the vegetables on the side and kind of treat the pasta as a little side dish for me, like some people do vegetables. So, um, my mom loves your blouse, says she, beautiful. This is my, That's oh my BG's gosh, mom. do my I look head. fantastic? Honey, I keep it? telling you, that is your color. It's a dress. It's one of your colors. It's a dress, woohoo! Yeah. I thought pancetta was a cute name for panza. <laughs> <laughs> for that, for, so for my family that's watching, that's like a pot belly. <laughs> so, uh, let's get this, let's get going, huh? Um, so we have the Brussels sprouts. Maria says she loves, we all love Brussels sprouts. I do too. I don't like them boiled. I like them roasted. And when you're roasting something, if you have room on your baking sheet, you want to give them a lot of room because otherwise they just steam and they get a little soggy. So when you're roasting a vegetable, you want to make sure that everybody is social distanced on your baking tray. 
Um, to this day, I can't get my daughter to eat peas. Martin, Martin your daughter? So she's an adult. You know what? Put, to put it in macaroni and cheese. Mm. <laughs> but there Fantastic. are some foods. Like, you know, I'm not going to make Travis eat the Brussels sprouts. More for me and for me. You hear how me. she said that she's going to make me Julie eat it. said she's never had a Brussels sprout. You're not missing it's anything. <laughs> You're not missing anything. <laughs> Sorry. She I would beg to differ. But you are not. I take it to Thanksgiving because um, myself hey, and my um, hi, Kareen. Hi, we're talking about you. Did you were your ears burning? Um, uh, so um, you got thrown off. Sorry. <laughs> what? You got thrown off. Sorry. Okay. So do uh, we're not doing pasta right now, so I made zoodles tonight. First time we'll see. Melissa, let me know how that is. I also bought a pasta that is rice. It's a rice pasta, but it's supposed to be very low in the glycemic index. And I'd like to bring more and more things in that will help me with my diabetes and to control it. Um, zoodles are great too. Yeah, I want to give that a try, the zoodles. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I think you need a machine to make zoodles or you can buy them pre-made, but I will look into that. Thank you. If you have recipes, send them to me. Um, yes, Debbie, balsamic sprouts with balsamic glaze. Brussels Could you do sprouts. With Brussels sprouts well, with balsamic glaze. Uh, oh my God. I mean, yeah, well. Stop it. I'm sorry. Um, it's one of our favorite things and she won't even make it in this house because she knows I won't eat it. But you should. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Greetings from Kentucky. Yeah. We love zoodles. Emily I'm gonna Tomas. give it a, I'm going to give it a try. I agree with Travis. Okay, Connie, that's okay. But, you know, um... When it comes to Thanksgiving, it's just me and my brother-in-law, Dave, digging into the Brussels sprouts. Yep. Anyways, yeah. okay, so um, we are making this meal, and we're going to share it with one of our neighbors, Kareen. Like I said, she's a nurse. And she's and, in here now. And she's in here now. And we want to salute her and tell her what a good job she's doing, and she really is in the front lines. And I think she would want you to know we are not over this COVID thing. We are still in the middle of it. Don't let the the heat and the sun and the and, and the weariness and the, the weariness. frustration really yeah don't let that um let your your guard down because right. we're not through this yet we're not through this so i think she would want you to know please keep wearing your mask remember masks aren't a political issue it really is just a mask that's all stay sudsy stay soapy um, wash stay your sexy. stay soapy. Soapy is the new sexy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I actually take um, soap and water in my car. Uh, my friend Suzanne made me a little kit to keep in the car, which is great. Um, but I also carry a big bottle of water, a towel, and actual soap, and just really soap it up, and then rinse it right there in the parking lot, and just really get in there um, between stores, and so. Um, please do not get laxed. Know that we are still in the thick of this, and the more that we, you know, participate in our own health care, the better we'll be. And, um, anyways, okay. Um, I posted this video that my good friend wrote and produced for Essential Workers. I sang on it. We would love to see uh, that. You know what? It's in the comments. So I think, Sandra, you're probably on Debbie's, uh, Debbie Gutierrez's personal profile. That's going to be uh, this one. So um, if you, after the show, if you want to check the comments and look at that. And, and by the way, get over to Playroom Karaoke uh, or Sandra Valls, V-A-L-L-S. They post videos of her and her sister with these filters. I mean, actually, no, they post uh, videos of their brothers talking. And um, it actually makes me LOL. And... Um, <laughs> And it's, they're very, very funny. Very funny on Saturdays, too, at 7 Central, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific, Playroom Karaoke. We're going to plug that every single time. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Who cares? All right, let's make some food. So, uh, what do you got going back there? I've got my olive oil heating up back there. And How I've much got is that right there? About two tablespoons. Okay. I'll I just eyeballed it. I showed it. the people. This one. <laughs> the people. This whole dish is basically eyeballing it, okay? So if we have new cooks in the crowd like Loretta, 
you know what, Loretta? You've been cooking with us for several months now. I think you're ready to just start eyeballing and taste. Taste in between to see how you're doing. If you're cooking for others, we have... Oh, I forgot to put our tasting spoons out. We have tasting spoons that we use so that we don't double dip. We make sure that uh, everybody is healthy and taken care of. Um, Looks like Debbie Wheatley Ferguson just posted something. Your surge capacity is depleted. It's why you feel awful. That's a link that I would assume is also in um, the Debbie Gutierrez Facebook page. So check those comments after and please look at that link as well. All right. So I have some pasta. Can you grab my shells there? Yes. Grab my shells. Girl. So I made these uh, pasta shells uh, earlier and I reserved the water. So I have my pasta water sitting over there. Um, these shells are just the medium sized shells. You can use spaghetti. You can use linguine. You can use even the spiral um, noodles. Um, regular spaghetti. Anything. Uh, rigatoni. Any of those. Stuff? Any of those. Any yeah. of those will work. Um, but I like the shells because I like the presentation. So I cooked it underdone, not al dente, underdone. So it co probably could have used two more minutes to be al dente. So that's why I, um, I tried it, and it's not—they're not hard. They're just not soft like you would a regular. Right, because regular. we're going to cook them a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's hot. By okay. Now. So go ahead and put your pancetta okay. in there. Let's do like this. And pancetta is awesome because it's already cut up. It's already cut up. And this is like, this is, um, I looked it up on online. Uh, pancetta is like Italian bacon, right? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to cook that for about five to eight minutes. Um, girl, that purple is your color. What? This is my color? How I don't know exciting. How many times I got to tell you? <laughs> um, while he's doing that, I'm going to let you know about a couple things coming up. The Ha Festival that Travis and I went to to show my one woman show. And um, I also did a set in a with a group of uh, Latinx women. And it was called Las Chingonas. And I did my set not knowing that they would call and say, we loved it. We want to put it on HBO Max. So that will be going up in September. That was a set that you had worked on. I think it was the second time you ever performed it. Second time I performed it. Very but new material. Yeah. It was it wasn't new material in well, that I worked it for years. I worked it for two years on the road to get it exactly how I wanted it. And it was the second time I presented it the whole, in, thing, the yeah. whole thing together. So Can we can we talk sure. about Maria Let's talk. there? Maria I really appreciate your diabetic modifications. I struggle for that when planning family meals. Yeah. Yeah. We do too. Here's the thing though, um, Maria the entire family would benefit from keeping an idea of how a diabetic should eat. The whole family should be eating vegetables and fruit, lean meats, and most of us should stay away from the carbs. Um, I get it though, the carbs are satisfying, they're budget friendly, and they um, there's just something about eating carbs that makes you feel good. And we're in this pandemic, we're in this real weird world. Everybody started breaking, baking sourdough bread. Everybody. Oh, that reminds me. Anna Maria came on. Hi, Ria. Um, she, I can't believe she's had time to log on. She's trying to move and pack and everything else. Um, but carbs are very satisfying to the soul, to the heart. It's in your gifts. It's in your cookies, your cakes, your pastas. And um, hear that, Connie? Put down that croissant. Um, well, so, can, I, can I say something please. though too? When Debbie makes a meal that's really good for her because of diabetes, I don't really miss a whole lot. And sometimes it really is just a matter of adding in a, a piece of a buttered bread or something, that carb that I desire. But the main meal really can be suited for, for a diabetic, but also taste very good and be very filling for someone that's not diabetic. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, Maria, you want to stick with some lean meats? Fish. Fish is amazing. Um, yeah. If you can, um, I, I did really well on Weight Watchers with my diabetes. I did wonderfully. And for them, if you know the point system, a zero point is any kind of fish. Shrimp, tilapia, salmon, um, cod, halibut. I mean, any kind of fish is wonderful. And then you cook with a good olive oil. Um, 
not a corn oil you want to cook with an olive oil you want to have a salad with every meal um, when it comes to lunch or dinner make sure that the bulk of your meal is that fruit vegetables and um, and you can zest it up you know you can zest it up with oil and vinegar dressings you can uh, drop in some chicken breast into your salads um, it just really is staying away from the whites and I know it's hard you know I'm Mexican it's hard you know how do you eat something without a tortilla that's so so hard yeah. today I had two corn tortillas and I sauteed a bunch of vegetables onions bell pepper mushrooms I just have them in my my vegetable drawer and I just sauteed them with olive oil put some salt on it and I had vegetable tacos so you just want to make sure that you're good. it was really good you just want to make sure that you're getting enough protein and vegetables and watch your carbs and I know it's hard um, so how you doing on that pan? does it look crispy yeah it's getting a little crispy I think um, if you're gonna stir something else in yeah we'll okay. do that so we're stirring in one whole chopped onion we're gonna do this boom, boom, boom. This. we're stirring in one whole chopped onion there okay So give that onion a little like five to eight minutes. Something else that we're doing for Kareen, and I packed one of these for Travis today, um, was I did mason jar salads. And these are great salads. It's a little hard to eat it out of the mason jar lid. The lid is wide. Were you showing though? Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute when you do it. Hang on, we're gonna go like this. And my bad. Sorry, we'll go there and now we'll go there. So I'm packing this, I packed a couple of these and one is for uh, Kareem and that is just a salad. And the way you pack your salad, it's a wide mouth mason jar and I've got garbanzo beans, olives, shredded carrot, shredded carrot, some artichoke hearts, cherry tomatoes, a little bit of salami, a little bit of um, mozzarella cheese and then arugula salad on the top. You want to put your greens on the top. The heartier vegetables on the bottom and the greens on top. If you want to put dressing, you want to put the dressing at the bottom. I wanted to keep these salads kind of crisp and light and I included a salad dressing that I made and all this is is red wine vinegar and olive oil and some salt. So we're sending that down to Kareen. She can eat it tonight with her dinner or she can take it to work tomorrow and dump it out on the plate. And so, I can attest that uh, all I did was I took a paper plate and, and folded it up into um, into my lunch box um, and and then when I unfolded it and poured the salad out shook up the little salad dressing poured it on top and it was a perfect uh, meal to complement my sandwich which like I've been saying I'm trying to eat less um, less meat products so this is a good way to kind of transition into more vegetables. What are you doing, sweetheart? I'm here. Go ahead and stir that olive. Oh, you know what? I think I smell our Brussels sprouts. Oh, what are you doing here? Both cameras. You said, you said, uh, I put in the garlic. Stir the olive? What the what? Okay, I need you to turn the um, Brussels sprouts over. Let's okay. turn this down. So, what's in there right now? The pancetta, the um, onion, and the garlic. Um, next we're going to put in, you doing okay? I'm doing well, yes. You switch the, get the... I'm going to take these out and turn them over. And turn them over. With, uh, um, tongs. Yeah, the salad looks great, right? Like the, yeah, it's awesome. And you know what's cool about this is you can prep two or three salads ready to go. You can also do soup, you can do ramen noodles. I'm going to do all that. I'm going to show you how to do some salads and some noodles and some meals in jars. And, uh, you know, Travis took a plate, he turned it over, and he ate it like that. That's coming your way, Connie. All right. Um, Kareem. Kareem, sorry. Um, Connie, we're not sending it to you this time, sorry. <laughs> All right, so now he's got the onion and the garlic in there. He's turning over the Brussels sprouts. Next, I'm going to go ahead and give him the frozen peas right out of the freezer. Just set it right there. So okay, I'll put it in. so you're going to put that in there. Yeah. And uh, we're going to put those peas in there and then and one cup of pasta water. Okay, but well, we're going to eyeball that. You can and eyeball. A little while ago, um, Sandra said 
no eyeballing because she's OCD. So, Sandra, you're going to have to look away because I'm about to um, do some eyeballing over here. Okay, I'm putting, the, putting these back in. I hear you, Maria. She says, being Puerto Rican, carbs have been my main food group my entire life. It's true, you know, like, and Puerto Rican has, be, oh, you know what would be good for you, Carmen? Just, I mean, Carmen, I'm sorry. Maria, just uh, black beans. Make a big, beautiful pot of black beans with some onion and some bell pepper. And those black beans will serve you beautifully throughout your, um, your week. Um, you can do black bean tacos, black bean burgers, just black bean soup. Um, there's a lot you can do with black, black beans, beans and it's really, really good for you because it's fibrous and it keeps that going, which is good for diabetics. We, you know, that fiber is really good for us. I'm eating a rice taco right now. <laughs> um, okay, I turned this, I put all the peas in and then I turned it back to medium because there's a lot of moisture in those peas. They were okay, peas. so for Sandra, it's one onion, five cloves of garlic, one package of frozen peas, one package of the pancetta, and one cup of the pasta water. Did you put the pasta water in? I'm about to do that right now. Go put in the pasta water. So, um, Connie says look away. Of course, when you're making this meal, it's pretty fast. So we're gonna let all that play in there for a little bit. Hi, Rick Nahara. Nice to see you. That's about a half a cup, babe. Um, it looks pretty wet. Because you know what? Those uh, I'm, I'll show the people. Uh, those peas were pretty. The peas were pretty wet already as well. So I don't want to make it so wet that they're uh, that it takes a while for it to cook. Anna Maria um, Kahnemacher just said something really important. She's not just my um, beautiful daughter, but she's also my Weight Watcher buddy. <laughs> and she said, when you have a carb, um, make it last. Just really savor it. So Maria, it, you know, allow yourself a tortilla. Get a, a nice tortilla. Maybe it's made with whole wheat flour or, um, you know, but take that tortilla and just really savor it. Um, I think a lot of times, um, and I'll just speak for myself, you think if you eat fast or you eat standing up or you eat in the middle of the night, it doesn't count, but your, your body is counting it. <laughs> also, something, um, my doctor said when I was pre-diabetic, he said, look, if you don't stop traveling, you're going to get full on diabetes. And he said, it's not so much about the food, but it's about the stress. And you're always in somebody's stress when you go on the road. I was, you know, always on an airplane in an airport, got to get to the club. Did they sell enough tickets? How's the audience? You know, and, and taking care of myself. And on the cruise ship, it was real stressful too, because, you know, on a cruise ship by yourself, it, it's a little scary if something happens. So long story short, Maria, my doctor did say the stress will make your blood sugar go up. So way to battle that is walks. After tonight, after tonight's show, I talked to Travis, we're gonna start walking at night, it's too hot during the day. So manage your stress level with some good walking, some breathing, because that will show up in your numbers. You know, and you'll go, my gosh, I stayed on my diabetic diet all day, what's going on? And it's the stress. So, um, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Was, I comments? was starting to read it. She okay. stops right mid-sentence. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. Tomas is saying that they have a, a, a saying in their house about... Uh, I've added a salad to every meal and I'm not losing weight. <laughs> um, so am I putting this in here? Yes. All of it? Yes. Okay. I'm Add the pasta and you might have to... I'm show the people too. <laughs> He's going to show the people, Monica. Do yoga with Adrian Mishler. Is it online? Can you find it online? I know that um, our friend Suzanne does um, Zoom. uh, Zumba Zumba. classes. How are you doing back there? Okay, I'm baby? fine, yeah. And then you're going to add more just, pasta I'm water. just dropping pasta all over the place. He's just dropping pasta all over. I cleaned the stove before the show, though. I know. Baby, I cleaned that stove three or four times. And then put in some pasta water. You want me to go over there and do it? No, no. I do it. I will okay. do it. It's still very, very uh, wet, though. Okay. okay. See how much is there? Yeah. What is that? Just salt? Salt and pepper. You're not doing it the regular salt way from up uh, above. Just one little like pinch. This. 
It's <laughs> so weird. I don't know if I want to add any. I'm going to add just a little bit of water. You don't. Yeah. We're going to eyeball it here. Because it's pretty wet in there. Okay. okay. So we're going to let that Back play for one. just a little bit. And then we're going to bring it over and put it in our big pasta bowl here. I'm going to pour it in here. This really is a simple dish. Really, really simple. Um, I'm going to put that in the bottom one. That's... And it's so pretty. How are you doing there? I'm good. Are you waiting for me? Yeah. Honey, talk to the people. <laughs> How about you friends. sprinkle a little bit of this for color? Okay. So, um... Yeah, for those of you that shared the story that I put on Facebook, I really appreciate it. You know, the one day we didn't go on was the day uh, of the fires, and it was really scary. And I'll be honest with you, for six days we've had helicopters overhead, and that's been scary too. And, um, and then, of course, the heat and everything. So, you know what? We're living in really weird times. This is just a weird time, but we're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it. I'll help you. I'll help you. We can cook and play and laugh and figure things out here. And, um, you know, just remember, we will get through this. And um, like I said, you know, we're, we're honoring our friend, Kareen, who's a nurse today. And I'm sure if she could tell you, she would say the best thing you could do is to just stay soapy, wash your hands, wear your mask, um, wipe down whatever you touch. Um, you know, all that is really important and we'll get back to life. We will get back to life. I promise you that the people, my sister said the people y'all so cute. I love the way salty makes you laugh like that couple goals. He makes me laugh every day. Yeah. He makes me laugh every day. And so does Pilar. And they know that's oh, Pilar's, Pilar's saving very, grace. Pilar's very funny. Um, how not, not as funny as me, but Brussels sprouts. Oh my God. Check them. Make me in front of my friends. Cause you would, he'll burn them. What? Let's see. Oh. How does, look? How does it look? They look great. Can you see it? They look awesome. Oh, no. Here, let's do it like this. Bam, like this. Now, one. these Brussels sprouts at this point, you can do a balsamic reduction, which all that see, is, is boiling sorry. some balsamic sorry. vinegar. Ah, don't bite me. Uh, boiling some balsamic <laughs> vinegar, um, and you can pour it over the Brussels sprouts. But because we're going to share, I'm not going to make it too saucy right now. And I like it just like that. So, you know, and Kareen can always add any kind of uh, sauce she would like on top. So, the people. Um, new message. Honey, how much, how much does this whole meal cost? Oh, my goodness. Did um, you say that? No. The whole meal cost probably... I would say the pasta you can find usually on sale for a buck. Um, and again, you can use whatever pasta you have in your in your cupboard. The pancetta was probably close to five dollars, I think. The frozen peas, the only ones I could find, you know, because there's some slim pickings still out in the grocery store, were organic. And the organic peas were about close to three dollars but you can usually find it a little bit of a better price your olive oil your salt and pepper your garlic your onion you know that's really nothing um this? yes Ooh, son of a bitch <laughs> oh my god that looks beautiful and it really does we're gonna put some parmesan cheese on top so the garlic the onions um the the we're going to go like this and just show the people. Look, can you guys just get a look at how delicious that looks? The pancetta, all of these flavors are cooking in here. I know you can't, we don't have a way for you guys to smell this, but the pancetta started with that. Um, we got garlic and onions in there, and you know that smell just smells amazing. I cannot wait. My mouth is watering because of how good this smells. Um, and then the pasta... You know, it was already cooked a little bit. I think mostly, most of the way anyway. Do you need some uh, extra? Yes, put some more cheese on there. I'm not diabetic. Put some cheese on there. Diabetics can have cheese. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I know my doctor said I needed to lose weight. What? He did. Did you tell him go to hell? He didn't even see me. It was through the computer. I'm like, what? you tell me this know? shit through the computer? <laughs> Asshole. Give me that. 
Go ahead and try. Okay. Oh, Connie said she's making it this weekend. Oh, good, Connie. Now, for those of you that want to do bacon, you can do bacon. Why not? Why not? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah? Now, um, yeah, I love peas, too. And there's a lot of peas in there. So if you don't, can you just not use the peas? Why would you do that? Martin's daughter doesn't like peas. Oh, Martin's daughter doesn't like peas. It tastes so good with the peas. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's to so say. Um, I guess you could substitute a different vegetable. There are so many pasta recipes mm. with vegetables. Um, the pancetta is really tasty. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of flavor in it. Yeah. Big chunks of, of bacon, sort of. Thank you, Johnny Cavanaugh, saying that the camera adds 10 pounds. We forgot to lock the we dog. We forgot to can... lock the dog upstairs, so she came out like, what? We're Tip eating? She smelled the We're food, eating? I think. The camera adds yeah. 10 pounds. Johnny Cavanaugh, by the way, um, wrote to us, he and his wife, lovely wife, Tammy, and asked us if we would um, consider doing some shows where we teach kids how to cook. And so... Um, Johnny, you'll be happy to know that idea. our next is a great idea and we're going to be doing it. And we're also going to talk about some basic skills that kids can do, like washing their own dishes. And, and we brought in Pilar, as you know, Pilar's our barista on Tuesdays and she is coming up with a drink that changes, um, colors. And so, um, a little chemistry, a little chemistry. So, you know, Johnny measuring, suggested measuring and chemistry and all that kinds of stuff. So we'll be focusing on that. You know, I just felt moved to write today on Facebook about so many of you that have not only learned to cook with us, but you've also helped us, um, with ideas. And Mike, I want you to send me that Instapot recipe and Debbie, you too, you cook with your Instapot all the time. Um, um, to be playing junk for your televisit with your doc. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you get so distracted by those. My doc says, stop the beer. So judgy. You know, right, Emily. That's why I do Stop. like. Um, that's why I do like Weight Watchers. I know I shouldn't be pushing something on on this show, but Weight Watchers really, you can eat everything. You can eat anything you like on Weight Watchers. It's all about portion control. Um, and just remember, if you're feeling some stress about what's going on, know that you're in control. Know that you're in the driver's seat. Know that you can change the trajectory of your health and your family's health. And some of it is just keeping soapy. Keeping soapy, social distancing, wearing your mask, washing your mask, having several masks. Um, uh, there's a lot that still is in your control. And we're going to get through all of this. We're going to get through all this. And I'm here to help you. So thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to pack this up for my neighbor, Kareem. If you are... Um, one who prays let's say a little prayer for her that she gets through you know the next couple weeks have been tough nobody knew it was going to be this long and um, she's right there in the front lines and uh, we appreciate what she does and we're going to go pack this up a salad some of this the brussels sprouts and some of those mango pineapple coconut popsicles i made so you guys thank you again for tuning in thank you for sharing with your um, friends and family we appreciate it so much we love catching up with everybody here have a wonderful weekend wonderful weekend remember breathe breathe in breathe out stay grateful we love you good night love you too dad and rj and julie and love Daddy. you cooking with debbie and friends cooking with debbie and friends I like doing that. You're so cute. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get this to Kareen while it's nice and hot.